Have you ever wondered how to get text like this and like this when editing in iMovie? Well, keep watching. I'm going to show you how. Hey there, I'm Kimberly of Kimberly Michelle Life, and I help fashion YouTubers and bloggers elevate their personal branding. On this channel, I provide beginner graphic design and iMovie editing tips. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can get different types of text on your screen besides those boring titles that iMovie has. Well, they're boring in my opinion. But anyway, even though you can change the look of those titles, you can change the fonts, you can change the color, but to me, they're still kind of limited and sometimes they're even limited to where you can place them on the screen. So I'm going to show you how you can get your own customized text with the fonts that you want. So let's go ahead and get into how we can get a little bit more customized with our own text colors and everything using iMovie. Okay, so in order to get your own custom text in iMovie, we're gonna be using Canva to create it. Now Canva is a free program, however they do have some upgrades. If you wanna upgrade, you can get a lot more features. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to use the free version. Now to get started, you can use one of the custom templates that they already have, or you can create your own custom dimensions in pixels or inches, millimeters, and centimeters. When I'm doing text that I'm gonna put in a YouTube video, I like to use the YouTube thumbnail template. And I like using this because I can kind of get a gauge of the size of the screen and I can adjust my text about where I want it to show on the screen. Now, you don't have to use this template. You can use any one you want, any size you want, and you can resize it in iMovie, but this is just what I usually do. Once you have your blank canvas, go over to the left and click on text, and then click on one of these text to add it to your canvas, and go ahead and start typing. You can adjust the size, and we're gonna go ahead and change up the font. So in order to make it the color that you want, you just click up here on the text color and choose one of the default colors, or click on the plus, and you can use this tool to change it to whatever color you like. Now, if you have the hex code already, you can just enter it down here and your image will be that color. I'm gonna choose this blue color, but I'm gonna change it up just a bit, make it a little bit darker. Okay. And let's make this a tad bit larger. There we go. Now there's a couple things we can do here to make it more interesting. We can give it a background or we can do like a shadow drop. So let's do the shadow drop first. In order to do that, you wanna make a copy of your text and then make that top copy a different color. I'm gonna go ahead and make it this light gray color. Then you wanna place your lighter text over the darker one, but not right on top, cause you won't be able to see the blue one, but just slide it over just a little smidget. And it makes sort of a drop shadow. Now you can't really see it here on this white background. So let me just change the background so that you can see it better. There you go. All right, I'll change that back to white. Now let's say we want to put a background on here. You're gonna go over to elements and then you wanna go to shapes click all and I just like to use this shape right here because I can get it any size I pretty much want so once it's on your canvas you want to go ahead and position it to the back so click position backward that way it'll be behind your text and then shorten it up to make it just the size of your text And then you can change the color to whatever background color you would like to change it to. Uh, let's see, yellow. 
gray. I kind of like the light gray. All right, so let's say you wanted to add some subtext on here. So, hey there, is not all you wanted to say. You just go right over to the text icon again and click the text on the screen. And then you can type whatever else you want. So let's type a uh, like, comment, subscribe. And I'm gonna change that font as well. Uh, okay, and then we can change that color. I'm gonna do gray, and then I'm going to make the background on that one. Um, da -da 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 -da. I'll make it blue. I just wanna scale that down. so that is how you will create your text over in Canva now ordinarily I would arrange this on the screen about where I wanted it to appear in the video so I know I'm gonna want it right over here somewhere up in there so I'm just gonna go ahead and move it over there for the sake of this tutorial I'm doing it slightly larger than I need it to be now when you're saving your work and you want to insert it into iMovie you're going to want the background to be transparent in Canva you can make items transparent if you have the upgraded version if you have the free version that is not an option but don't worry because I'm going to show you how you can get it transparent so let's go ahead and download it as a JPEG click on the download button change PNG to JPEG because we don't need the image to be that high of a quality and go ahead and download that now we're going to go over to lunapic.com we're going to use this tool to make our text transparent so go to edit transparent background and then choose file and upload the text that you just saved All right, and there it is. And you wanna just click anywhere in this white area and it's gonna make it transparent for you. And there you go. When you see the checkered background, you know that it is now transparent and we're just gonna save that. It's gonna automatically save to my downloads. Now let's move over to iMovie. Now to get our text in iMovie, all you have to do is click and drag it over there so let's find it and make sure you grab the png version of your photo not the jpeg because the jpeg is going to have that white background so let's grab the png and slide it into our media and then let's drag it down on top of our video you could have just dragged it right there initially but i have a habit of just dragging everything to the media box now when this goes into iMovie, it's automatically set to Ken Burn, so that means it's going to move. But we don't really want it to move like that, so go up here to the cropping tool and select Fit. After you do that, you want to go over here to the video overlay settings and select Picture in Picture. It's now gonna give you these four blue dots around it. You can grab one of those and scale it how you want to. So you see why I did it in that thumbnail size. So now I can make it the size of the video and I can position it kinda anywhere I want it on the screen. So let's say I was a little bit off and I needed that to be smaller. I could still drag it over here or drag it over there, up here, wherever you need it to be. So now I want this text to come in and appear like it's in the palm of my hand. So I'm going to go to the part of my video where my hand pops up, right there. Oh, it was already kind of there. Ha <laughs> ha. And then I'm going to insert, I'm going to slide the text right up to that point 
and now it should just appear when I pop my hand up. Let's play it back. Okay, it's not exactly in my hand, so let's move it up a little bit. All right, let's play that back. And the other thing is there's a couple of ways you can get this to come in on the screen. You can have it dissolve into the screen, which is right here. Or you can have it zoom in. So let's see what it looks like when we zoom it in. Go right up here to dissolve, drop down and select zoom. And then let's do the playback to see it zoom in. So that's how it looks when it zooms in. Now you have your own custom branding on your video. Thank you guys so much for watching and let me know in the comments what other iMovie tips or Canva tutorials you'd like to see on this channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and for more videos like this go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. Boom, boom, boom. And when you smile for the camera I know I love you better. Hey, we'll come back to you. Who else likes Steely Dan? Nobody, huh? Okay.